please welcome Oliver Velez, inaugural keynote speaker of the first Traders Expo, international best-selling author, world-renowned trader, advisor, and entrepreneur is back at the show after a seven-year hiatus, representing a rare opportunity to meet one of the most sought-after speakers and teachers on the subject of trading the financial markets for a living. In 1999, Dow Jones dubbed him the Messiah of Trading. Oliver, thanks so much for being here. Thanks again, once again, for having me back. Um, traders, I hope you caught my presentation yesterday. If you did not, it will be posted on themoneyshow.com at some point in the future. I really like you to get that presentation. And today, I have another dynamic presentation for you. And this strikes a chord with a lot of traders today. A lot of traders recently have jumped into the day trading game. Now, I am one of the pioneers of the day trading space, having started all the way back in the late 1980s. Um, started my own firm in 1994, one of the first day trading oriented trading firms in the industry in the early 1990s, went all the way to the Dow Jones Industrial Average, calling me the Messiah of day trading, all the way to Barron's ranking my firm and the services that I, I provided for the industry, number one in the United States. Today, I run one of the largest trading organizations with over over 10,000 traders internationally in over 92 different countries under my tutelage, guidance, training, and education. And so today I'd like to talk to you about a specific approach. It's really more than one tactic, but it's a specific approach that's designed to produce for a trader $1,000 or more each day. And in a relatively short period of time during each day. I'm not a very big proponent of traders today sitting in front of their computers throughout every minute of the trading day, developing blurry eyes and a bad bladder because they're too afraid to go to the bathroom uh, for fear that they'll miss something. That used to be a style of market play that was in vogue in the 90s into the early 2000s, but it's not necessary today. I train my traders to focus on three different phases of the market and either of these phases, it's possible to produce with what I'm about to show you a thousand dollars or more per day. This might sound like a tall order, but traders are doing this every single day and I'm showing them how to do this every single day as well. I'm also providing them with the necessary capital to do this because you can't do this, what I'm about to teach you, without the proper amount of capital. So look, I'm going to bypass my normal introduction. If you want to know who I am, you can do some research on your own, but let's get into the material right off the bat here. What I want to show you is I want to talk first about what we need in order to do this properly. We're going to need a handful of things. First of all, we're going to need the most, the most demanding thing on the list, which is a 100,000 plus, preferably more, $100,000 account or more. Now, I don't want that to freak you out. I have the account for you. I provide the funding for each and every one of my traders. They do not risk a single penny of their own family's capital. I want you to understand this, all right? So don't let item number one scare you. I've got the $100,000 account or more for you. Let's get past that. Number two, you're gonna need what I call my ATG size, share size grid. I'm gonna show you that. All right, ATG stands for Asymmetric Trading Group. It's a special group of my traders that focuses on this style or this approach, which I'm about to share with you now. Narrow range bar. So we need a strategy or a tactic that is based on what I call a narrow range bar, a bar that's little, okay? Narrow range bar. This bar can't be more than 45 cents from high to low. So think of a little tiny acorn, not a long bar, not a wide bar, a little tiny acorn of a bar. No, no taller than 45 cents from high to low or from low to high, depending upon how you want to look at it. All right, we'll need a 20 period simple moving average traders, right? 20 period simple moving average. We will... Um, need some trade guidelines. So let's get into a little bit more detail regarding these items. Now, as I mentioned to you, 
I provide the funding and the training for all of my traders. I tell them, do not risk your capital. You risk my capital. If you lose my capital, it's my fault. All right. But you don't risk your capital. I usually start traders off with $50,000. That's level one. But for this style, we really need to be at levels two and three, two at a minimum, levels three, preferably. So traders have to work their way sort of to get to level two. Is there a way for them to start at level two? Of course. But most traders try to work their way from the 50,000 to the 100,000. That's where this style or approach can really start to pay off levels two and three. Keep that in mind. Okay. Now, here is my ATG share size guide. Now, the style that I'm going to teach you is to lose, in this case, no more than $100 on any given trade. That's the, lev the first level of this style, All right? The next level is you can lose 200 and then 300. But the first level, the traders must limit or their losses to $100 every single trade. Now, what it means is that if your narrow range bar that we identified, this will all become clear in just a few moments. If your narrow range bar is only, let's say, look at this, it's only 10 cents. Look at the first line, all right? 10 cents. It means that you can trade all the way up to 500 shares. Why? Because 500 shares with a 10 cent risk for every 100 shares, all right? 100 shares, you'll lose $10, $10. 200 shares, you'll lose $20. 500 shares, you'll lose $50. Theoretically, you'll be able to go all the way to almost 1,000 shares because 1,000 shares will have you losing about $100. But I always tell traders to go one level below if they're really close to the maximum. So think about this. If we go several lines down, look at the left-hand side. Let me show you this. Look at the left-hand side of this chart. This is very important. We're setting the stage, right? What if you have a narrow range bar that gives you a risk of 25 cents, which means that if we're wrong, we're going to lose 25 cents, but we can't lose more than $100 on this trade. So if we took 100 shares, we'd lose $25, but we can go up. That's nowhere near our $100 max. All right, $50, we can go up to 300. 300 shares, we lose $75 with a 20. No, but we can go 400 shares and lose 100. But because that's losing exactly 100, we want to go one step backwards. We don't want to be too close to the 100. So this would be a 300 share play. So here's the point. This share guide determines your share size. You don't determine your share size. The guide determines. If you have, as an example, if you have, as an example, a play, narrow range bar play that has, um, let's clear this, that has a risk of 35 cents. So now, if we lose on this play, we're going to lose 35 cents. Well, 100 shares will lose $35, but you can lose up to 100, all right? So where can we go here with 35 cents? We can go all the way to 200 shares, which would have us lose 75. 300 shares would have us exceed the maximum 100. And so if you look at this guide, I have highlighted where, what levels you can trade at to stay within your 100 share max. Now, your narrow range bars, you want to, to be no greater than 50 cents. I would say no greater than 45 cents just to be on the safe side. So I would say this, I don't want my risk to be more than 45 cents. And of course it can be as small as possible, but no bigger than 45 cents. This is going to be our max going forward. Remember this. So this is my ATG share size guide. 
You don't decide how many shares to put into the play. The guide decides what size play this is. Very important to understand. All right, let's go. Now, what do we trade? Well, we're going to trade stocks that are relatively higher in price, not super high, not quite at your Tesla prices, four and five hundred dollars. No, but we're going to pick a range between seventy five and two hundred, maybe two hundred and fifty or what have you. It really depends on what level your account is. If your account is at one hundred thousand, if you're at the level where I give you 100,000, you can only play up to 200. If I give you the $250,000 account, you can go higher than the 200, but we want to stay sort of in the clouds. We don't want to apply this strategy to $20 stocks, $30 stocks, $40 stocks. We want to get into really that triple digit price range. Because Apple, as an example, has recently split five to one, it has brought Apple perfectly into this range. And I consider Apple one of the key stocks to apply this specific strategy on which I'm gonna show you. We want these stocks to be have institutional sponsorship, which basically means traders, we don't want thinly traded stocks with wide spreads. We want very active liquid stocks where the spreads are relatively narrow between the bid and ask. We want popular stocks, your Microsofts of the world, your Facebooks of the world. You know, we want your Apples of the world. We want your QCOMs of the world. These are, um, the creme de la creme of your stocks in that price range, okay? All right, now, here are the trade guidelines. Very important before I go into charts and show you. Um, take a snapshot of this if you can, because this is very important. We're gonna, guideline number one, there are seven guidelines. We're gonna trade most of the time. It's not all the time, but most of the time, we want our trades in the direction of the 20 period moving average. If you follow my work for any period of time, you know I'm a big stickler for the vast majority of your trades being in sync with the 20 period moving average. Why? 85% of all losing trades are the result of fighting the 20 period moving average. So if you make the 20 period moving average your friend, you will eliminate 85% of the errors being made out there by these traders. Number two, we want that narrow, we want a narrow range bar color change. I'm gonna show you what this is. So we want a red bar being, a, a little red bar being exploded or taken out by a green bar, all right? Or we want a green bar, a little green bar being wiped out by a red bar, okay? We'll talk about that. Maximum loss per trade, $100. I talked to you, maximum loss per day at level one, no more than $300. So you can lose three times in a row, 100, 100, 100, and you're done for the day. We wanna limit our losses to 300 because our winning days will be a thousand or more. Sometimes 3,000, sometimes 2,000, sometimes 1,500. So if we can keep our losing days to three, we will average out, statistically average out with 1,000 or more per day. But we've got to keep those losing days limited to 300 for these numbers to work. Now, 500 share max per trade. We talked about that depending upon what your risk is. Break even stop after 100. So once our play gains a $100 gain, remember we have a maximum loss of 100, but we have a rule now that once we gain 100, we are gonna move our stop from negative 100 to break even. So once your, your play gains $100 in profitability as an open play, we remove the risk out of the trade. We can lose profit, but we can't lose original capital. This is very important to understand. Okay, now, uh, we're gonna sell one half of our position after a $200 gain. Now, Traders have some leeway with this, all right? Some traders like to do it after $300. Anything from 200 and above, this can be. I'm less concerned with what you do after the trade has worked than I am with what you do when the trade is not working. I'm more concerned with who you become and what you do and how disciplined you are when everything you plan does not go according 
to your plan. Everything goes against your plan. That's when I want to look at you closely. That's when I want to know what you've got. That's when I want to know what your level of discipline is. I'm less concerned with who you are or what you do in the land of profitability. I'm more concerned when my money is at risk and you're in negative territory. So you have some leeway on this item number seven, whether you want to take half after 200, 300, it's really up to you, but you should start thinking about it after two times your risk. Remember our risk is $100. Once you gain two times your risk, you want to start thinking about locking some in. Okay. Now let's take a look at uh, a few trades today. I'm going to not look at a lot of them because that's something that we can do on my YouTube channel. Um, in the future, I strongly encourage that you follow me there. Oliver Velez Trading is the name of my YouTube channel where I give you content every single day to raise your level of market sophistication. Follow me there, Oliver Velez Trading. So um, let's take a look at a few things, guys. Look, I took Microsoft in the latter part of the day. Okay, this is today's activity. And what you're looking at is a two minute chart of Microsoft. Now, what I've taken the liberty of doing is marking off the trades that were taken in Microsoft late in the day based on this strategy. Now, I want you to remember that we're looking to trade in the direction of the 20 period moving average. So the blue line that you see is the 20 period moving average. Let's get that settled right now. The 20 period moving average here is declining but here it's rising and here it's declining. So we've got a wavy market, but we've got little pockets where it's very clearly declining. The 20 is very clearly rising during certain pockets and declining again, all right? Which means that we're gonna basically play the markets from both sides of the equation. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Remember, it's a day trading approach. Now, what I've done is I've isolated what I term our narrow bar color changes. So remember what that is. We're looking for a little bar that is taken out by the opposite color most of the time. So in this first example, we've got a narrow range, all right? We've got a narrow range red bar that is taken out by a green bar. What does taken out mean? The green is superseding the high of the little red bar. Now check this out. Notice that item number two, I'm starting to give you the numbers. Now look at the narrow, look at the relatively narrow range red bar. Okay. I picked the, the relatively narrow range red bar to take out the high of that red bar and to stop yourself below the low of the red would give you a 30 cent risk. So the size of this narrow range bar is 30 cents from high to stop out point, okay? Remember our grid at 30 cents, we can trade as much as 300 shares. That's three lots, 100 shares equals one lot. This 300, this, this 300 shares with a 30 cent risk gives us a $90 loss, more or less, should the play not work. But look at what it delivers at the high. Now, I know this is, you know, the high is pr not terribly probable, but I'm showing you the asymmetric possibility of this strategy, that your risk is always pennies, but your potential gains are hundreds. Your risk is pennies. Your potential gains are hundreds. You can be wrong two, three, four times and be right once and get all of that back. And this is what keeps traders in this game long term. Their risk reward ratio is in their favor in a very huge way. Now, if we go to item number three here, you see a color change again. What's a color change? A color change is a red bar that gets boom, taken out by a green bar. This green bar takes out this red bar. But remember, the risk has to be less than 45 cents. So the low of the entry bar, 
This is the bar that I suggest that you place your stop on. The low of the entry bar is 34 cents away from my entry. All right. If I go back to the list, 34 cents is roughly 35 cents. I can't do 300 shares in this case. I can only do 200, which would give me a maximum loss more or less of $70. But at the high, the potential was $240. Still a very, very decent risk reward ratio. Now, some traders will be saying like, Oliver, you're showing us the potential gain at the high. What's the odds of me getting the high? Very small, but cut it in half. Remember, you're supposed to go to break even after you are profitable by 100. So after your play moves up and gives you a gain of 100 or more, you're supposed to move your stop to break even and remove all risk out of the market. Once you move to 200, you're supposed to take some and move your stop to the $100 level. If you get to 300, you should take some more and then move your stop in the remainder of the play to the 200. So we work in these $100 increments to protect ourselves on the way down. So whether you manage to get the top is not important. It's the management of the play along the way that's really the magic elixir behind this. Professionalism lies not necessarily in your entry and not necessarily in your exit. Professionalism lies in the category of trade management. That's what determines whether you're a professional or not. And this is an automatic trade management system. So remember, you get into the play. You can't risk more than 100. You know your share size up to close to $100. Now, once you gain 100, move your stop from that $100 stop to now break even. Now, the only thing you can lose is open profitability. You can't lose original capital. You can breathe easy. Once, right? Once you go to $200 in gain, you can raise your stop to protect $100 in profits and take a portion off. And every $100 increment, you can take another lot off and raise your stop to now protect the $200 point. And on and on and on until you run out of merchandise or until the stock falls back and triggers one of your stops. This is professional trade management, and it's what separates the people from the people who really know what they're doing and those who are out there gambling. Now, let's take a look at Microsoft. Let's take a look at Microsoft when the 20 period moving average began to drop. Now, take a look at this really solid, powerful bar that broke the 20 period moving average. This is very key to me. Now, I'm waiting for a little bar, a little bit of color to develop. We've got these two little green bars. The tails don't matter very much. It's the bodies that we're focused on, just so you know. These two little gr green bars get broken right here. Now, my stop, if I enter this red bar that's breaking those two green bars, my stop is always on top of the entry bar. I'm using the entry bar as the basis for my stop. That's 15 cents from my entry to the top of my entry bar on the short side, betting to the downside. I'm risking 15 cents. I go to my chart. I've got uh, uh, 10 cents. I can go all the way to 500, 15 cents. I can go all the way to 500 shares, right? 500 shares. I'm still within my maximum $100 loss and boom, there's a $480 gain. Again, it doesn't matter whether we could have really gotten the full 480. That's the value of the move and how you managed yourself on the way 
to that $480 will determine how much of that potential you milked out of the play, for lack of a better, better word. So we still have this 20 period moving average declining. We're waiting for little green bars to develop that red bars take out. Boom. My entry is in this red bar. My stop is above the high of that red bar. What's the difference? It's a 20 cent difference. I go to my chart here, 20 cents. I can play 500 shares, full 500 shares keeps me within my maximum $100 loss per trade. And this drop today from this point gets you 460. The full potential or full value of the move is 460. All right. Whether you got 360 or 380 or 270, that's dependent upon how you managed your way through the trade. Now, I want you to just see that the, the magic of this is number one, playing with the trend, with your your temporary trend that you have right now, number one. Number two, point number two, you're playing a narrow color change switch in the direction of that 20 period moving average. You are risking no more than $100, in many cases less, like 60, 70, okay? You are, that's item number two. Item number three, you've got a trade management aspect to the trade. After $100 gain, break even. After $200 gain, move stop to protect 100, take some off and do the same repeat every $100 increment. The magic is also in the fact that your risk rewards can range anywhere from three to 10, which means that you can lose more than you win with this strategy and still wind up picking money up virtually every single day and certainly every single week. Now, this was just looking at Microsoft. I didn't even point this one out. Look at the 20 period moving average declining. Look at your color change here. See the narrow range green bar. You're gonna short under that green bar. Your stop is gonna be above the high of the red bar. This is your risk unit. That looks like maybe 20 cents or so, 25 cents or so. So you can do anywhere between three and four lots or three to 400 shares with this play. And this is a nice run to the downside. Okay, now, if I can do this, I'm not sure if I can do this, guys. Give me a moment here. I'm not sure if I can do this. But if I can do, I want to see if this is possible. Let's see if this is possible. I think so. So if I take Apple, now this is Apple's activity today. It's the latter part of Apple, okay? I hope you can see this clearly, all right? Um, Apple... We have the 20 period moving average rising here, but we've got the 20 period moving average declining on the right hand side of the chart. So we know that while it's flattish to rising, we can do color changes here. Boom, color change. Here's my risk unit and there's a nice run to the upside. Here is my color change. Here's my risk unit. And here's a very nice run to the upside. These are huge runs for a $100 stock, all right? Here is likely to be a break-even play, okay? But once we get under the 20 period moving average, boom, look at your little narrow range green bars, boom. Your risk here is about 20 cents or so, 25 cents. You know the deal, you're not gonna lose more than 100. And this move to the downside is very nice. The key to this strategy is in proportioning your shares properly, playing in the right direction, identifying those little now range bar plays, not losing more than $100 on any given play and applying that money management approach and system and I promise you, if you can do this in with stocks that are heavily traded, 
between $75 and $200, you're going to find a level of consistency you probably never thought existed. You need capital to do this. And this is what I want to give you. I want to give you the capital and I also want to give you the training. So let me just do this if I can. If I can go back to here and close out with you here. Let's do this. Oliver, a second we have here. two minutes. Give me a second here. Uh, let me take you back here. And what I want to do is briefly, why am I doing this wrong here? Can I do this right? Give me just a second here, guys. Here we go. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to talk to you very briefly about my pro trading plan. Listen, there's a cost for it, but it's one cost for the rest of your life. You will never have to put money into an account. It'll be my, my capital you're, tra you're, tra you're, you're trained with, my capital you trade with, and my capital at risk. If you lose my capital, it's my fault for not bringing you along the way properly. You do not risk your own capital here. We share the gains. There's a cost to join the program, anywhere between 1,700 and 3,000, depending upon the program you choose. But there's an exclusive discount from 15, down to 1,500 to 2,000. Now think about this. If you're gonna be doing this for five years, three years, seven years, 10 years, the cost of this broken down over three years, over five years is a cup of coffee or less per day, right? Don't think cost, think value here. There's a, there's a value when you being trained every single day, and there's a value to gain access to hundreds of thousands of dollars to trade without risking your family's money. Now, for 48 hours, you can join this program for as low as $1,300. Guys, it's a dinner. It's a nice bottle of wine out with your family, right? This is for life, training every single day of your life, capital in the hundreds of thousands of dollars so that you don't have to risk yours. This is how you go into the trading business professionally. And I'd like to help you do that. So guys, I hope that you've taken some really valuable points from my talk today about trading with the 20 period moving average, about utilizing now range bars to keep your risk small, about applying your trades with a systematic share approach and about managing those trades like a true professional along the way to your profit goals. Thank you once again for having me. And please, once again, join me on my YouTube channel, Oliver Velez Trading. Thanks again, Money Show, for having me. Oliver, thanks so much for being here.